First off, the ultra-fast mile at the Illinois State Fairgrounds. Before the Springfield National in the fall of 1985, Ricky Graham was named Mr. Springfield Mile. He promptly went out and took his fifth Springfield win in seven races. Graham's Honda teammate, Bubba Schobert, number 67, learned a tough lesson in that race after taking the lead on the final lap and ending up an eventual third. Well, I just, uh, after I took the lead, I knew I had to get through those corners the, the best I could without making a mistake and try to get far enough ahead that they couldn't pass me on the back straightaway. And then I felt I could uh, beat them off turn four to the finish line. But uh, as it was, they both slipped past me at the end of the straightaway, and uh, I couldn't make it up. Graham's victory was the highlight of his injury-plagued 1985 season. This year, after two years as a Honda factory star, Graham is once again a member of the privateer ranks, while Schobert remains Honda factory back. The two rivals locked horns again in this Springfield Mile event, with Graham, number three, giving number one Schobert another lesson on why he owns the Springfield Mile. Seven riders were in a lead-swapping confrontation throughout the last half of the 25-lap main event, but only one would come up the winner. Schobert charged to the front of the pack as they entered turn three on the final lap and held the lead as the field came off turn four to begin the drag race to the checkered flag. Then Graham reached into his bag of Springfield goodies and pulled out a draft and pass move which saw him come up with his sixth victory. Schobert was inches behind in second while Chris Carr finished third. Two laps from the end, I thought, well, I better start getting serious, think about where I'm at at the start finish line. And uh, the bottom line was, is just to not let off, just keep going for it the whole way. Graham and Schobert also got close at Louisville, but only off the starting line. The battle in the 20 lap main event was between Harley Davidson teammates Scott Parker, number 11, and number 20, Chris Carr. Carr, the 1985 Camel Pro Series Rookie of the Year, ran the first half of the race in the lead before teammate Parker took over with a slick pass heading into corner number one. Carr's final challenge in the dash to the checkered flag almost caught Parker off guard as Parker began celebrating his win a little bit early. Parker had half a bike length lead to spare at the finish line. For the Flint, Michigan native, it was career national win number 11. It brought him within six points of series point leader Bubba Schobert, who finished third. Next up for the Camel Pro Stars was another mile, the Battle of Bourbon Street, New Orleans, Louisiana. Steve Moorhead, number 42, emerged from the dust at the end of lap one to lead the 17-rider field. Trying to see where they were going was the biggest problem faced by the riders. Sand from the track, mixed with water that was applied to keep the dust down, turned into a cement-like mud. Getting close to a spinning rear wheel was instant loss of vision. Tear-offs lasted three or four laps at the most. Despite the poor vision, Graham, number three, came from out of the pack to catch and challenge Moorhead. At the midway point, Graham took the lead and held it. Moorhead, although he dropped off the pace, finished second. Scott Parker on the number 11 machine rolled into third early in the final half of the 25-lap main event and held off the challenges of Randy Goss, number six, for third. For Ricky Graham, it was career mile win number 15, and that makes him the winningest mile racer in Camel Pro history. Parker's third place finish earned him enough points to leave New Orleans with a tie for the Camel Pro Series points lead with Bubba Schobert, who finished eighth. Camel Pro dirt track racing is also the subject for this month's Fram Autolite flashback. Here's Dave Bowman with a look back at one of the most memorable moments in motorcycle racing brought to you by Fram Autolite. The site, the Illinois State Fairgrounds, the event, the final round of the 1984 Camel Pro National Dirt Track Championship. Two riders had a chance at the title in the prestigious number one plate. The riders were not only rivals, but teammates as well. Also, the Team Honda Stars were a contrast in both riding styles and personalities. Californian Ricky Graham, a former number one plate holder, was known for his outspoken demeanor and aggressive riding. While his teammate and championship rival, Bubba Schobert, was a quiet Texan that let his riding do the talking. 25 laps would decide the championship. After a whole season and 32 races, the championship would boil down to less than a half an hour of riding. With two laps to go, both Graham and Schobert were in the midst of a four-rider battle for the lead. The action was literally handlebar to handlebar. 
Then, apparent disaster as Graham hooked the handlebars with one of the other riders and went down hard. The battle continued for the lead as Graham, in pain with a broken arm, rejoined the fray. With Graham only a handful of points ahead of Schobert in the series standings, the crash all but handed the title to Schobert. Number 67, Schobert, lost the race by inches, but was certain he had won the championship. Riders, fans, and most of all, Graham and Schobert waited anxiously as the race results and championship points were tabulated. Graham had finished the race, but the question was, in what position? Then the announcement, Graham had finished 13th. His year-end point total was enough to garner him the title by a scant one point over his teammate Schobert. Graham had lost the battle, but he'd won the Camel Pro War. The number one plate went to a hurting, but a happy Ricky Graham. This is Dave Bowman. Join me next month on Moto World for another Fram Autolite flashback. <laughs>